So till now we have seen how to use the tools and the practical sections of tools. So let's enter into the option bar and the very first option that we are going to see into the option bar is x and y dimensions. Into this x and y dimensions they are also called as the reference point or also called as the pivot points or also called as x and y dimensions. So now using this x and y dimensions the object can be moved either in the x offset or in the y offset either in the positive direction or in the negative direction. So now let us see this one practically how to move the object either in the x or y by using its parameters. So let us see it practically. To see how does x and y dimensions works practically in the option bar first let us create a object and then fill up the color. Select this selection tool. So now here you have x and y dimensions in the option bar. As I told you in the workspace video this is called option bar. In the option bar we have x and y dimension which is already having the units. Now using this when you type in the parameters let us say I would like to uh, type 216 and press enter. You can see that the object is moving 216 points from where it is located in the document and then now if I type 25 and press enter it will move 25 millimeters above or below according to the parameters which we have given. So now here you can find the referencing of the object. So once if you click the registration point changes and x and y dimensions will also be changed. So now let us say if I am selecting this one and if I type 45 it will come back to 45 in the x dimension and from here I will type 45 again and it will come down 45 millimeters points down. So let us move this one towards the center and you can do it manually also and it will give you the x and y dimension. x offset moves the object left or right and y offset moves the object up and down. You see if I am moving this one if I am increasing the x parameter you see it is moving towards right and decreasing it is moving towards left. y parameter moves the object either down or up. That's it about the x and y dimensions.